Gene Songwriters Collective. Uh, minus one, unfortunately. Palmer Uderbeck uh, got sick this morning, and so he won't be. Eugene Songwriters Collective. Uh, minus one, unfortunately. Palmer Uderbeck uh, got sick this morning, and so he won't be joining them. But Carl Falsgraf and Lynn, let's give them a nice welcome. Thanks so much for having us again, Tom. We appreciate it. Uh, as he said, the, the third uh, part of our group, Palmer Utterback, woke up this morning with, uh, with stomach flu. So it's just going to be the two of us. But uh, yeah, but this will be, be great. Actually, first time I met Len at a songwriter's circle, I said, God, you write great songs, man. Let's get together. And we sat together in his living room for, I don't know, two, two and a half hours, something like that. So that's kind of what this is going to be like, except all you guys get to hear what we do in Len's living room, right? So, um, so again, thanks everybody for coming out. I very much appreciate it. And uh, special thanks to uh, Helmut Plant, who was in charge of our uh, German uh, public relations uh, <laughs> that went out to the world. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so we're, this is, again, going to be very casual. We're going to play on each other's songs a little bit, and uh, we're not exactly sure uh, what we're going to play here, but uh, we'll make it up as we go along. We're going to start out with, uh, with Len, and then we'll just kind of trade off and see where we can get so. <laughs> Um, if you hear my voice crack, it's the going around, so here it goes. This song is called Another Beautiful Day, and it's a reminder for me to uh, try to find something in each day that's, that's really, really good. Um, I tend to not do that. Um, so it's just a sweet little song, simple, they're all simple. It's called Another Beautiful Day. I read the paper in the morning I try to make sense out of my day I search for that new direction The one that just might fade And I keep trying to look forward Keep looking for that better way It's gonna be another beautiful day It's gonna be another beautiful day I'll take a look around here at people Do you see what I see? So many of us scrambling around Trying to make sense out of this new reality But you never know one might have an answer One just might hold that key It's gonna be another beautiful day of these problems that seem to be lying at our feet but the problems to the solutions they always tell us this in the balance sheet but this time people you gotta be strong we can't afford to be weak it's gonna be another beautiful day it's gonna be another beautiful day now as the years they gather around us, the smiles leave our face, and the memories that we carry, they slowly take their place. And as we struggle to find solutions before the end of the race, it's gonna be another beautiful day. It's gonna be another beautiful day. Another beautiful day. Get that one out of the way. All right. <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, start out here if I can find my cable. Which 
change things uh, around. No, I gotta start out with a start out with an old song of mine. Uh, a couple years ago, five years ago now, I took off and I drove around the country and in my truck and just kind of slept in the truck every night, kind of trying to figure out what I was going to do. And uh, you know, I'd stop every here and there, and sometimes write a song. And this is one of the songs that I wrote. You can kind of hear the influence of the road on this one. It's called Poor Boy. Walking through the park Walking down the street Looking like a stranger Every one of me, I'm thinking about my family, feeling all alone. I'm a poor boy looking for a home, looking for my home. I traveled around the country, in the whole world round, seen a lot of sights. Let me tell you what I found Well, I found people reaping harvest From seeds that they have sown I'm a poor boy looking for a home Looking for my home I'm wandering through the world And I wonder what it's for Can't be what they tell you there must be something more I need a map to find me A heaven of my own I'm a poor boy looking for a home Just looking for my home Home is where your heart is Home is where you are Home is always sweetest Viewed from afar Home is where your family ties are tightly bound But a home for your soul Is often lost and found Lost and found When my time is over I'll lay my burden down No more hand to mouth No more town to town when I leave this world into the great unknown, I'll be a poor boy looking for a home. Still looking for my home, so far away. I'm just a song too that's why I keep singing it yeah 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 always reminds me of that time so what you got up next boss uh, it's called the traveler that fits with poor boy pretty good it's a uh, yeah I don't know where I get these ideas but they get them they come in and they stay there sometimes it's basically a um, well I'll just do it you'll get it after the third verse Carl you can do your thing yeah okay okay Count one, two, three, all right? Okay, if you say so. Most of my life just a traveling, and I've seen some good and I've done some bad. But lately, I've been spending my time remembering a love I used to have. We were both kind of young when I first met her. 
picture of a dream come true And there was always this light all around her It was like a light I never knew And that girl, oh that girl, she truly did love me And I suppose I did love her too when I went ahead and did something so young and foolish I thought laying out on that road was something I had to do out on that road I'm still a traveling The crowds they are much smaller in size And last night when I was up on that stage singing I saw those so familiar eyes There she was She had her own little family the light she once had, oh, was still there When my show was finally over Well, I couldn't stop but thinking about How I used to care Well, I spent most of my life just traveling And I've seen some good and I've done some bad but lately I've been spending my time remembering The love I used to have And lately I've been spending my time remembering The love I used to have I can ask my friend Bill McDonald to come up here and join me for this next one. I'm uh, from the uh, glamorous town of Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, I thought after the last election, I started thinking about um, the folks who are still back there. You know, when I graduated from high school in 1976, the economy was just in the dumps. And, you know, most of us who had any choices got out of Cleveland. But a lot of folks stayed back there, and uh, a lot of them ended up with really hard lives, and uh, I think that uh, that led to you know some of the decisions that they made. So I was kind of thinking about you know where our country's going and everything, and rather than writing a protest song, you know, I don't think that you know I think the days of we shall overcome are, are over. That one's been done. So I tried to sort of empathize with some of these uh, some of these guys I went to school with. You know, people that I knew who, whatever, you know, didn't have many options or for whatever reason chose to stay back there. And, you know, what life would have looked like uh, staying there in good old uh, Cleveland, Ohio. It's called I Don't Belong Here Anymore. Chicken man got hit, Poochie went to Nam. Jerry's off to college, so here I am. I'm making plans, but I don't know what for. I don't belong here anymore. I don't belong here anymore. Germans pulled black folks for foreign wives. Chasing dreams, 
fighting for their pride. Parks and schools, union halls and bars, high school football and souped up cars, but now Detroit's buying all of its steel from Japan. Once proud people get on welfare if they can. Frame round the edges, they're shaken to the core. I don't belong here anymore. I don't belong here anymore. Hired by Cleveland, electric power, union job, 20 bucks an hour. They got theirs and I got mine But the mayor sold us out to a wealthy relation Wall Street loves that privatization Every union man got booted out the door I don't belong here anymore I don't belong here anymore Imagine his harmonica in here with us, oh. all right? Because it's just amazing. So anyway, this next song I'm going to do is called "A Mark on My Heart." Um, it's an imaginary song; it's not true. Um, you'll get, you'll understand why. <laughs> you got any country in you? It's the only country song I've ever written. Well, I once had the sun, or was her name winning? Anyway, she had one hell of a smile. She did things I remember, like a hot burning amber. She made a mark on my heart for a while. She had this way of hugging, like her spoon fed loving. It was easy. To take her all down 
Sometimes she started thrashing, fighting and crashing. See, she came from that tough part of town. She was always in a hurry, like a windblown snow flurry, never knowing where she might land. Though she started leaving with me, we both knew that she'd be leaving with some hard-loving man. Well, we start out a dancing, move right into romancing, put on a show for all to see. But it was later on in the evenings when she would start her deceiving. See, it paid more than being with me. Now this girl I remember The men would all send her All these gifts Get down on their knees Oh, I tried to change her But I could not change her Cause what she was doing She did with such ease Now this summer, or was it winter? Some saint and some sinner She did the best with the cars that she had Though she always made me smile some I always paid for my fun And looking back It don't seem all that bad Well I once had this summer Or was her name winner Anyway, she had one hell of a smile She did things I remember Like a hot bird she made a mark on my heart for a while She made a mark on my heart for a while She made a mark on my heart for a while It's a guy song, I think. <laughs> yeah, it is, but it's still beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I have serious songs too. Good one, Len. Yeah, yeah. You you've been playing all serious. We've all been playing serious songs. So here's a here's a light, funny song about death. <laughs> well, I woke up this morning with my aches and pains. Trying to break even with my losses and my gains Ain't no use denying, ain't no use in crying Well, I'd like to live forever, but someday I'm dying, yeah Take a pill for this and you take a pill for that You take a pill to pep you up, a pill to burn the fat A pill to make you happy, feel the pain for a while Just give me a pill that cuts through the denial of the ultimate fate we all must face. Well, we can rage against the storm, or we can face it with grace. We can whistle past the graveyard, try to look away, or stop and smell the roses growing on the graves of all the men and women who have come before. Soon you and I, we're gonna walk through that door. We're gonna sink into the darkness, or bathe in holy light. At least we'll know if all those preachers were right, yes. Spend your life trying to ease the pain With TV or religion or a snort of cocaine Or fuck, kick up your shoe, follow your muse And sing along with me to Mortality Blues Ooh -ooh. I got Mortality Blues Ooh -ooh. I got Mortality Blues So live your life and love your life for all that's worth Cherish every moment that you have here on earth And love your neighbor Love your wife, now I have told you the secret to life, yes. But you see, life is a game and you don't want to lose. So you squeeze so tight that it chokes like a noose. Well, loosen your tie, kick off your shoes and sing along with me to Mortality Blues. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I got Mortality Blues. Ooh, hoo. Oh, Mortality Blues. Ooh, hoo. You got nothing to lose, Ooh not like you get to choose, Ooh I got mortality blues.
shame on it. This is my wife, Vicki. She's going to sing harmony on this next song. Um, this song, um, you might have noticed this little thing dangling off the edge of my guitar. I, was, uh, I play uh, fairly regularly, actually often with Ken, at a place called The Dining Room. It's run by uh, Food for Lane County, and it feeds you know, folks who are out on the street, you know, down on their luck for whatever reason, um, you know, four times a week. And uh, so they have music there to make it, you know, seem like a <coughs> nice, welcoming place. And uh, I played this song that I'm about to play, and it was a, a woman sort of sitting there, and she didn't seem to be paying much attention, which is kind of the normal um, situation there. But, uh, you know, I started, I finished my song, and I started playing the next song, and she brought this little piece of cheap jewelry up, and she put it at my feet. And I couldn't quite figure, I thought maybe, you know, it was less, like lost or something. And I mean, I guess the musician looks as much like the lost and found as anybody else there. So I said, so where'd you, where'd you find this? And she said, oh, no, no, it's mine. And I said, well, you know, I don't, you know, I don't need this really. We, we just volunteer here. We don't need anything. And tears were coming down her eyes. And she said, just now I needed that song. I really want you to have this. So I keep this on my guitar all the time because you never know who's going to be listening. <laughs> Who's going to need a song, you know, at, at one you know, particular moment, and you never know why, and, you know, I've never seen her since, but I've kept her little piece of jewelry on my guitar that whole time. I met my one true love at 22, there ain't nothing in the world I wouldn't do to make that woman feel loved and alive. I came home one night about a half past five, I read her note through teary eyes and said I found another, I have to go. Punch in the gut, stab in the back, life is gonna get you and that's a fact. Just gotta dance to the beat of a broken heart, broken heart. Dance to the beat of a broken heart. Well, I moved on and married, had a little girl. I was a daddy, she was my whole world. A love so pure, the world has never seen. But then she turned 16 had to be free. She said, I hate you, Daddy. Stay away from me. My moon and stars disappear. Punch in the gut, stab in the back. Life is gonna get you and that's a fact. Just gotta dance to the beat of a broken heart. Broken heart. Dance to the beat of a broken heart. If you live very long, live very true, you can't avoid the pain no matter what you do. This whole life ain't made for sissies and fools. I'm gonna dust myself off, gonna do what hard. Love my neighbor, gonna play my part. Keep on dancing to the beat of a broken heart. Broken heart. Dance to the beat of a broken heart Now my body is broken My tank is low I fought a good fight But it's time to go This old life is still a mystery I'm gonna tell my friends I'm gonna tell my kin If I had to do it all over again I'd dance just the same To the beat of a broken heart Broken heart once again to the beat of a broken heart, my broken heart.
coming to the atrium today and uh, sharing this beautiful day out there. Uh, we have Chico Schwal playing a variety of uh, plucked instruments, guitars, and is it Bella like that? No. Bazooki. Yeah, I'm really anxious to hear that. So let's give a nice welcome. Right down the back. 
Um, Wade Hemsworth. Wade Hemsworth is born in 1916, died in 2002. Um, uh, wrote some uh, great songs for which he is mostly not remembered. Um, mm -hmm. The uh, folk music fans are probably aware of uh, the song The Black Fly, which is sort of a secondary Canadian national anthem. He wrote that one. And he wrote this one. Uh, the uh, early in the 60s, um, his songs were very popular with a group called uh, The Mountain Four, which included two young McGarrigal sisters, and they stayed with his music on later. So this is the song called The Law Driver's Waltz. Well, and that takes a bit of explaining too. Um, before they built logging roads into places where um, people were cutting trees, they would just roll the trees down a slope and float them down the river. Now, if you know anything about entropy, you'll know that if you dump a bunch of logs into a river, they'll snag up immediately. And how this problem was solved was they would have guys out on the floating trees, which were tippy, ends would go under the water and come back up again, and the trees would roll randomly. Uh, and there'd be guys out there with a long pole with a hook on it to keep the trees from floating down the river all the time, around rocks and over obstructions, uh, keeping these things from um, snagging up. Uh, it's, not, it's a kind of a dangerous thing to do, uh, because if you fall in, you're not just getting dunked. You could get <coughs> slammed by a log and drown and all these other things. But people did it. In fact, you used to be able to see it at logging carnivals here in the Northwest. People would do what they call log rolling, and they'd get out on a log and spin it. Um, there's a picture of a woman at doing a performance of log rolling at Knott's Berry Farm from the 1950s that I found in a book recently. She has her cowboy cowgirl skirt on. And, um, um, anyway, log rolling. In Eastern Canada, it was called burling, um, which is not a made up word. It's actually, it comes from a Scottish word that means to, to set spinning, which is what they're doing. Anyway, watching people do this, you'd think, well, God, I bet somebody can do that. You'd probably be a good dancer. <laughs> Hence this song, The Log Driver's Waltz by Wade Hemsworth. Oh, I'll tell you a story about it later. Now I'll tell you a story about it now. I learned this song, or first heard it, in 2005 in Montreal. Uh, there was a big Folk Alliance conference there, and uh, one of the pre-shows was a bunch of uh, American folk singers were going to do a tribute to Canadian songwriters and naturally it was mostly full of people singing Johnny Metro Gordon and Lightfoot and Neil Young songs which uh, hardly counts and my friend Andy Cohen elbowed his way onto the program saying he wanted to do some real Canadian music. This is like three years um, after uh, Wade Hemsworth passed away and he and Paul Arnoldi and I got up and did this song uh, that we worked out the previous afternoon. If you ask any girl in the parish all round what pleases her most, from her head to her toes, she'll say, I'm not sure that that's business of yours, but I do like to dance with the law brother, or he goes down, down the white water, that's how the log driver learns to step lightly, he's burning down, down the white water, the log driver's waltz pleases girls completely. When the drive's almost over, I like to go down and watch all the boys as they work on the river, for we know that at night. They'll come into town and we all like to dance with the log driver For he goes burling down, down the white water That's how the log driver learns to step lightly He's burling down, down the white water The log driver's wall squeezes girls completely To please 
my dear parents, I had to give way and dance with the doctors and merchants and lawyers. Their manners are fine, but their feet are of clay, and none has the style of my law driver, for he goes burn down, down the white water. That's how the law driver learns to step lightly. He's burning down, down the white water. The law driver is false, please. On YouTube, listen to the McGurables sing it. Ah, so um, we'll play another instrumental. This is number 171. Um, that's because it, it appears under the untitled tunes section in a collection of um, Turlock O'Carolyn's music under untitled tunes, and it's number 171. Carol, um, music is wonderful. You've no doubt heard some of it. Uh, it's amazing we have so much of it left because he didn't write any of it down. I mean, he was blind, so why would he? Um, so it was up to other people, actually, who loved the music to have learned it and then to write it down later. And we still have a ton of it. Um, well, at least 171, but there's four more uh, pieces. So this is number 171.
if you didn't, um, I'll say, yeah, it is, it's fine. And uh, in fact, if you want to um, uh, post it or share it, that's fine. In fact, if you want to package it up and sell it, that's also like, totally okay with me. One thing though, if you make any money at it, write me a letter and tell me how you did it. <laughs> 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 uh, I <knew> that one. <laughs> so I told you Davy Graham would come up again in our conversation. Um, English guitarist, I actually think he's still with us, even though some of his students, like John Renborn and uh, Bert Jansch, are not. Uh, I think if he died, I would have heard about him. But, um, uh, amazing guitarist. Left a, that there is a recorded legacy out there, some of it recent. Um, one of the things he did was he invented this tuning, which from low to high is D A D G A D, so we call it Dad Dad. And um, he was the guy who invented it, actually, and it wasn't didn't have anything to do with Irish music. He was in North Africa, and he wanted to play with oud players. And so he developed this tuning for that. And, and now it's all over the world, so I'm sure. Um, and this is a tune called O'Farrell's Welcome to Limerick, first published in 1810, imagine that. O'Farrell was a um, uh, uh, Illin Piper, and um, apparently his reputation got to Limerick before he did, so this is O'Farrell's Welcome to Limerick. It has other names, but um, they all have stories. Thank you. 
Well, summer's coming. Weather's getting nice. I mean, you get together with your family for barbecues and stuff, and uh, you start talking about universal health care like you do. Um, <laughs> uh, like I hope you all will. You know, the, the thing that always comes up is as soon as you start talking about something that would actually do everybody a lot of good, somebody says, well, how are we going to pay for it? Of course, the, it's quite clear we're already paying for it now. I mean, it's not, you can do the math and figure it out, look stuff up. We spend per capita twice as much on health care as people in France who, who get like postpartum homes and uh, four weeks of vacation. And they'll pay for the full spectrum light bulbs for your house if you're feeling a little dark this winter. So it's not that. We can't afford it. We're, we're paying. In fact, why are we paying twice as much as people in France? I mean, just so that we can say no to some people? Is that is it worth it? I don't. I mean, we could get a better deal. So we are paying for it now. Um, uh, we figured it out once if the school district didn't have to pay for um, the their what they contribute to the health care of their employees. Without raising any taxes, that would put 12 million bucks in their pocket every month. So we are, <clears throat> we are, it's that all paid for it. Now, and this song will help you remember that. <laughs> I'm just getting over a, a cold, as you can probably tell. The nicest thing is not that I can um, see or smell, but like that my head doesn't weigh 65 pounds anymore. There we go. Oh, yes, and you can join me on this too. Every time I stop singing for 1.3 seconds, um, you sing, We're all red painted now. Not that good. It's going to come up real quick, so. Well, I went to the doctor the other day. We're already paying in that it was right there. That, that quick. I'll give you fair warning this time. Well, I went to the doctor the other day. We're already paying it now. I had to carry money for the damn copay. We're already paying it now. I thought my insurance would cover the rest. The lady said I wouldn't want to make it bad because. You haven't paid your deductible yet. I'm already paying it now. Well, a healthy life is a human right. I'm already paying it now. But if it's all about money, then money is mine. And we're already paying it now. Oh, uh, yes. If you ain't got the right, if you can't get the and if you ain't got a plan, you ain't got a prayer. But Congress is getting single payer. We're already paying it now. Oh yeah, we're already paying it now. Well, we're already paying it now. For the cop and the teacher in the made in USA. We're already paying it now. Well, I don't mind sharing the burden. We're already paying it now. Cause I'm not happy if my neighbor is hurt. We're already paying it now. But we pay when we're taxed, we pay when we buy, we pay for letting the cost go so damn high. We pay too much and still people die. We're already paying it now. Yeah, we're already paying it now. We're already paying it now. For the cop and the teacher and the meeting, yes, they were all. Costs a pound of cure and 